Hey everyone, and welcome back to Staying Fervent. I'm Tracy. Well, I encourage you to stay fervent in God. Thank you so much for tuning in today and staying fervent with me. Today, I wanted to encourage you with one of my favorite verses. It is Psalms 91. I love this verse because it talks about the blessings, the strength, the protection that God gives us. But the only prerequisite in receiving all of those blessings in Psalms 91 is that we dwell in the secret place with God. That means that we make God our hiding place. We don't just visit him, but we abide there. We dwell there. We're always there. We're set in him. We have made him our choice and made him our God. And so this chapter tells us about all the blessings that God give us for loving him, dwelling in his secret place. The prerequisite of receiving all of this is that we put our trust in God, that we dwell in his secret place. That means that we choose him, that we follow him, and that we do that daily. We get all of these blessings to take seriously abiding under the shadow of God. His word here says he'll cover us like a mother hen, like an eagle, like birds. Cover her children with her feathers. He covers us and keeps us protected from all of that evil just for loving him. So Psalms 91 is the protected place. It's the covered place. And it's a place where we live and abide, not visit. Jesus told his disciples in the New Testament, he said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, he said, you can ask what you will and it'll be given unto you. That means a righteous life living before him, a chosen life for God. He gives to those who follow him with their whole heart. And that's what I encourage you to be, a strong follower of God with a strong decision that has been made to give God glory, honor, and praise and to make him first in your life. So I encourage you today to live in the secret place, to dwell in the secret place. What's listed here in Psalms 91, we cannot live without.